I'm Dave Sanders, ESPN. This ESPN program is brought to you by Budweiser Light. When you bring out your best, you deserve ours. Welcome to the best of Notre Dame football from the 1970s. Today's game is the great 1972 contest between the Trojans of the University of Southern California going against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And now let's join Lindsey Nelson and Paul Horning. Hello, everybody. I'm Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning here in Los Angeles. The Trojans are undefeated, untied. They're on their way to the Rose Bowl. They're ranked number one in the nation. The Fighting Irish have lost only one. They have won eight games, and they're on their way to the Orange Bowl. Well, as this shapes up, it has for years as one of the biggest uh, rivalries in college football. SC has really put the dent into Notre Dame the last couple of years, and I'm sure that era, this would be the biggest victory of the year, no question about it, if he could pull a major upset. SC, on the other hand, well, you'd have to classify SC as one of the great football teams, not only this year, but in years past. They have it all, that great defense, great offense, fine quarterback. Notre Dame needs a superior effort today to even stay close, I believe. It's a warm and sunny day here in Southern California, and a crowd of some 85,000 is expected as we await the opening kickoff. We'll start today's game right after these messages. Cal has won the toss and elected to receive, and so Notre Dame has Cliff Brown to kick off. Brown puts the ball in the air. Anthony Davis is deep at the three-yard line. Davis to the 5, 10, 15, 20. Davis to the 25-30. Davis has two blockers out in front. They get Rudnick down. Anthony Davis on his way. 97 yards for a touchdown. Anthony Davis, a sophomore who leads the Pacific 8 Conference in rushing, has exploded with the opening kickoff. 97 yards is the official yardage on the kickoff return. Well, Lindsay, I just think uh, that that young man, before he's finished here at Southern California, if he doesn't win the Heisman Trophy, something's wrong. Great football player. We didn't even have enough time to tell you his statistics. He has rushed for more yards than any man at USC in his sophomore year. Notre Dame knew they were going to have to stop this young man if they are going to have a chance today, and he has exploded 95 yards with some great blocking. He had three men out in front. No, no question about it. He broke the tackle to 35 and went in easy. Hayes, Hayden is holding. Ray kicks and it's deflected. It is no good. The conversion attempt fails on a deflection. So the score is Southern California 6 and Notre Dame nothing. Anthony Davis is a man who does everything. He just returned the kickoff. Now he does the kicking off. The deep men there are Dewan and Demonic to receive the kickoff for Southern for Notre Dame. Greg Marks is the man for Notre Dame who blocked the conversion attempt. Hinton and Powell put that block on Rednick that sprung Davis. Dewan is in the end zone two yards deep. Goal line five. Dewan to the 10-15. Dewan across the 20. It'll be first and 10 at the 21 for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Tackle made for Southern Cal by Pekarsik. So it's going to be first and 10 now as Dewan comes off the field. Tom Clements, the quarterback, comes on to run the attack, number two. The longest kickoff return in USC history, by the way. 95 by three others, and that's just been topped. A 97-yard kickoff return here. Dominic in motion. Clements keeps the ball. Penalty marker at the line of scrimmage as that was a gain of one yard by Clements. So we'll check out the penalty marker here. The referee is Charlie Moffitt today. Offside indicated against Notre Dame. So the Irish have drawn the first penalty of the day. And let's see that man, the captain of that defense, John Grant, All-American, one of the great ones. He's going to go high in the draft, no question about that. Now, notice the defense of USC, great quickness, 
and the key to it are the tackles and the middleman. Monty Davis, uh, they use a five-man front man, head up to center. The other two tackles, Jeff Winings and John Grant, will be down. The defensive ends will be up. That's Pinnock as the penalty was refused to make it second nine. Pinnock moves into the 28-yard line. Picked up six. It's going to be third and three and off of Notre Dame. Richard Wood from Elizabeth, New Jersey, came in to make the tackle. He is a fine sophomore linebacker. Number 83, 6 2, 2 20, and you'll hear lots from him this year and in years to come. The Trojans of Southern Cal are on their way to the Rose Bowl. The Fighting Irish at Notre Dame are on their way to the Orange Bowl. This is third down and three to go for Notre Dame. Demonic. Scramnick trying to get to the first down sticks. He had to get it across the 30. To about the 31. Dale Mitchell was in to make the tackle. So it's going to be fourth down and a yard to go. And here comes Brian Darty in to do the punting. Alvarado in at center to make the pass in deep punt formation. Lynn Swan has dropped back deep now for Southern Cal. Darity has averaged 38.1. He's a junior from Portland, Oregon. And it's taken at the 30-yard line by Swan. He is back to the 35. And he moves it up to, to the 39-yard line. Southern Cal was unable to sustain a drive, so they punted to Notre Dame. 10 minutes, 26 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California, and a crowd of some 85,000 or possibly more on hand for this game. There goes Dominic in motion. That's Pinnock to the outside. Pinnock now racing in to the 31-yard line. Another first down. And a five sophomore running back, Lindsay, has picked up 703 yards coming into this ball game on 113 carries for an average of 6.2. Let's take another look. This is fine blocking also. They must have found a little weakness on that right side, and Clements is exploiting it. Beautiful hole right on the right side. He cuts back to the inside for the first down. Southern Cows leading 6-0 in the first quarter. Notre Dame first and 10 at the SC 31. Andy Huff to the 29-yard line. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. Andy Huff is the 212-pound fullback. Rodriguez made the stop for SC. They're trying to go inside Dale Mitchell and outside of John Grant. There might be some cross blocking over there. Clements has called the last three running plays at the same hole. There might have been different blocking, but it has been over right tackle. Ball is spotted near the 28 yard line. We're at second and seven now. Fumble, a loose ball. It's still loose. And SC. No, Notre Dame. Notre Dame has recovered it at the 34 yard line. That's Andy Huff, you see, still there, getting up. Hmm. Look Let's at it again. A look. It's a pitch, par play left. Penny cannot hold on to the football. It's a big scramble here, and it looks like 85. Dale Mitchell has the football. But he doesn't have it, and I think Andy Huff has got it on the inside. That's who had it, Andy Huff. Make it third and 13 now. Notre Dame at the SC 34-yard line. As a pop pass completes the Townsend. But a penalty marker on the play. He got to the 26-yard line. Penalty markers at the line of scrimmage. That was a third down play. That's John Dampier, the offensive captain for Notre Dame, moving up there. He's from Kermit, Texas. The referee is Charlie Moffitt. The umpire today is Edward Herbert. The headlinesman is Tom Cross. The field judge is Lou Lehman. The back judge is Bill Stanley. And the alternate today is Charles Reed. That penalty has stepped off. Offside against SC. Puts the ball at the 29. Down remains the same. Third and eight. Era Parsegian, head coach of the Fighting Irish, in front of his troops along the near sideline. Third and eight, Notre Dame at the SC 29 yard line. That's Dominic in motion to the outside. Clements decides he'll try to run it. And he is still after a game of about a yard. It's going to be fourth and about seven. Jim Sims made the stop along with Johnson. So it's spotted at the 28-yard line where it'll be fourth down and seven for Notre Dame. And here comes Bob Thomas, the field goal man. 
along with Alvarado to take over at center for the snap. Be about a 45 yarder, Tim. He's kicked him longer than this this year. Got a good strong leg. It'll be from the 35, which does make it a 45 yard attempt for Thomas. It's good. It is good, and so the score is Southern Cal 6, Notre Dame 3. Now we move to further action. We have seven minutes, four seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Southern Cal 6 and Notre Dame 3. Ray dropping back. Out to Davis. Anthony Davis. Rudnick is the defender over there. He is out of bounds in Notre Dame territory at the 46-yard line. First and 10 for SC. Yeah. Let's take another look. Mike Ray going to the safety valve. Anthony Davis in the left flat. There's a fullback now. He cuts to the inside. Takes the linebacker inside, and he's all alone for the first down. Anthony Davis. Rudnick uh, on the tackle. Edessel Garrison's back in there at a wide receiver spot. He's from Compton, California. First and 10, SC. This is Davis. Got it up there to the 41 yard line. Picked up five. It'll be second down and five yards to go. Nasbush made the stop. He's a sophomore tackle from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tim Sullivan up there at a defensive end position today for Notre Dame. They lost Freistraffer for the season. They lost Niehaus for the season. Johnny McKay is back in there, not 25, and he split out wide to the right side. Ray has the ball. He's going deep, and it is incomplete. A penalty marker thrown in the end zone. Penalty marker was thrown in the end zone. Swan was the intended receiver. And it was number 14, Reggie Barnett. The pass was naturally a deep one into the end zone, but it was underthrown, and that caused the receiver Swan to slow up. Barnett going full speed just ran right over him. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. He slows up a little, and Barnett just ran right over him. And so, pass interference in the end zone makes it first down and goal to go at the one-yard line for SC. First and goal at the one-yard line. Well, short yardage, you know Cunningham loves to dive over that line, but I tell you, this might be Anthony Davis's day. Let's see if he gives it to him. They're both in the eye. Anthony Davis, touchdown, SC. <laughs> Anthony Davis has scored his second touchdown of the day. It counts with six minutes, six seconds left to play in the quarter. Let's take another look at it. The fullback, pretty good, <laughs> what we call wedge blocking up front. Davis just dives over for the score. This telecast is presented through the authority of the C.D. Chesley Company. Any reproduction or use of this material without the written consent of the C.D. Chesley Company is prohibited. We'll have a conversion attempt coming now. Mike Ray. Hayden will hold and Ray will kick. Anthony Davis has carried five times for 16 yards and has returned one kickoff for 97 so far. Hayden puts it down. Ray boots it up. It's good. And the score. It's Southern Cal 13 and Notre Dame 3. The defense stiffened on both sides for after an exchange of punts. We move to further action. Pinnock dribbles the ball. Pinnock trying to get on it. And at the nine-yard line, Southern Cal is recovered. Dale Mitchell got the football. Dale Mitchell. Well, he's a pretty unhappy young man. Eric Pinnock, number 44. Here it is again. He's had a problem like this all year long. I think he wants to run with the football before he gets it. Good handoff right there. He just didn't have the handle. That is Eric Parsegian talking to Pinnock along the sideline. Pinnock having just fumbled the football and gives it to Southern Cal first and goal at the nine-yard line. One minute, 12 seconds left to play in the quarter. Johnny McKay goes wide to the left side. Anthony Davis is the tailback. Cunningham is the fullback. Ray is the quarterback for the Trojans of Southern California. Ray still has it. He guns this one to the outside, and Swan cannot hold on. It is incomplete out there. Rudnick covering. Second and goal at the nine-yard line. I'll tell you, of course, the Irish, a solid two-touchdown underdog. Actually, it's the first time they've been an underdog all year long. 
but uh, when you're playing a number one team in the country, of course, turnovers can turn any game around, but you surely don't want to make too many mistakes against a football team as good as SC. Manfred Moore is in at fullback, and Sam Cunningham has gone out now for SC. Johnny McKay wide to the left side. This is Davis. That's O'Malley hanging on to him there at the five-yard line. He was pushed back. It'll be third and goal at the five. Well, let's take another look. The SC uh, lineman, that's 77 Pete Adams. He's an All-American. They just want to stand off, and uh, Anthony Davis will pick his hole. O'Malley on the tackle, and a good one. And for Moore has gone out. Sam Cunningham has come back in at fullback for Southern Cal. Clock is running now with 35 seconds left to play in the quarter. This is a third down play and goal to go. Here's the pitch to Davis. Heading for the flag and touchdown Southern Cal. His third touchdown of the day. How about this? Sophomore Anthony Davis. Let's take another look at this. Now watch the speed of Davis when he hits the outside. He turns it off. Sleaze has had a shot. He just outrun the angle. A big, big day for the young man from San Fernando. We'll have a conversion attempt coming now. Hayden holding for Ray. Lindsay, and you said that he didn't start seven ball games for SC. That's very true. McNeil started the first seven games. Ray puts it up, and it is wide. It's no good. And so the score is SC 19 and Notre Dame 3. Notre Dame received the kickoff, and time ran out in the first quarter with the score, Southern Cal 19, Notre Dame 3. As we start the second quarter, Notre Dame has the ball second and seven at their own 30-yard line. SC is leading 19 to 3. Clements is the quarterback. That goes DeWan in motion. Clements has the ball, pumps once, and hits his man up around the 45. Craney, the tight end, number 91. It is a first down Notre Dame at the 45. Let's take another look. DeWan going in motion now. Clements showing a lot of cool for a sophomore. Stays right in that pocket, the last minute. Secondary receiver, Mike Craney for the first down. Yes, Townsend split out wide to the right side. DeWan's in motion. Ball is loose. Might have been blown dead. Might have been blown dead before it got away. Dick Wood was the defender there. And it had been blown dead up at the 45. So it's second and 10 at the 45 yard line. Clemens still has it. Complete. Taken out to the 46-yard line. Andy Huff, the fullback. Rodriguez made the stop. It'll be third down and six. Take another look. Notre Dame flooding the right side. Man in motion. Little fake counter back up in the middle, and Andy Huff is wide open at midfield. First down. It is third, third and one. Third and one. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Notre Dame has the ball second and 10 at the SC 44 yard line. 13 minutes, eight seconds left in the half and Southern Cal's leading 19 to three. Clements has the ball. Screen. Back to Dominic on the screen and Dominic now looks for running room and he's at the 30, the 25, the 20. Dominic is hauled out. By Dick Wood, number 83. Dick Wood hauled him down. It's going to be spotted at the seven-yard line. First and goal. And he put a little new wrinkle in for SC. Watch this. Clements fakes the uh, little counter and then comes back against the grain on the weak side to Gary Dimonick. Made a real good step here at the 30. The ball, he gets it all the way to the eight-yard line. First down, fine blocking out in front. And that's number 83, Dick Wood. That play picked up 36 yards for Notre Dame. This is Pinnock. 
looking for a place to turn the corner, but cut off and picked up about a yard. It'll be second and goal. Ball is near the seven-yard line. Now, an extra tight end. Quayle has come in to replace Townsend, so Notre Dame goes into a double tight end alignment here. Second and goal at the seven-yard line. This is Pinnock back to the inside, and he gets just inside the five-yard line. It'll be third and goal. Notre Dame trying to penetrate that Southern Cal defense. John Grant, the All-American tackle, made the stop. Senior from Boise, Idaho, and one of today's co-captains, along with Cunningham. Townsend is back in the ball game now for Notre Dame. Quayle comes off. Third down play coming here. Pinnock and Huff are the running backs in that alignment. Dominic's in motion. Now Clements has the ball. First to Townsend for the touchdown. Townsend, touchdown Notre Dame. His fourth touchdown of this season. Let's take another look. Tom Clements fakes to Pinnock back, and Townsend now is coming from right to left on your screen. He beats number 49, Charles Phillips, for the score. So Notre Dame now has a conversion attempt coming. That's Willie Townsend, number 80, along the sideline. And now Notre Dame takes another timeout. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning in Los Angeles, where Notre Dame has a conversion attempt coming. Doherty holding for Bob Thomas. Thomas boots it up, and it's good. And the score is Southern Cal 19 and Notre Dame 10. Now we move to further action. With 43 seconds showing on the new scoreboard clock here at the Coliseum, SC has the ball third and 33 at their 44-yard line. Jerry Potempa is in defensively now for Notre Dame. Ray. Davis. That met squarely at the 45 by Ken Schlesis. So it'll be fourth down now and long yardage for SC. Clock shows 25 seconds left to play in the first half. Now, Boulware, the punter, is coming onto the field. Yeah, probably let the clock run out. Ten seconds left to play in the half. Now it's down to five and running. Four, three, two, one, and that's it. That's the end of the first half here at the Los Angeles Coliseum with the score of Southern Cal 19, Notre Dame 10. The second half of today's game will start after these messages. At the second half now, it's Anthony Davis kicking off for Southern Cal. Notre Dame has Gary Dominic and Art Best as the deep men to receive the kickoff. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning, and Southern Cal is leading by a score of 19 to 10 as we await the referee's whistle. Here comes Davis. Puts the ball up to Dominic's side. Dominic at the four-yard line to the 5, 10, 15. Dominic to the 16-yard line and perhaps the 17. That's all. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Townsend wide to the right side. Dominic's out of the ball game now. Clement still has the ball. DeWan throws a block for him. It's gun intercepted along the 35-yard line. It's Hinton with the ball. Hinton has returned it across the 30, and Hinton is down to the Notre Dame 25. There are penalty markers everywhere. Going into a crowd, sophomore Tom Clements. A little disturbed with himself right there. Here's Looks the indication the now of the penalty. Clipping on the run back against Southern Cal. Let's take a look at the replay and see if we can uh, find the clip. Here it is. Clements rolling to the right. Now he's rushed right here, had to throw it in a crowd. Hinton comes up with the interception. Gets by one man. That's not the clip there. It's not the clip there. Fine return. He gets it back to the 25-yard line. There it is right here. Right at the 25. Can't pick up the number, but it was definitely a clip. 
It is first and ten since the clipping occurred on the run back. The ball is at the 41 yard line of Notre Dame in Southern Cal possession. Mike Ray up the middle and complete to Swan. And Swan goes to the 15 yard line. First and ten for the Trojans. For a lightning fast offensive football team, SC. Here it is again. Mike Ray from ground level. Good protection. He's, Swan is wide open in the middle. It's a real nice move here. Great speed, Swan. This whole Southern California football team, Lindsay, has got great, great speed. O'Malley finally brought him down, but it's first and 10 SC at the Notre Dame 15 yard line. Here's a pitch to Davis, Anthony Davis. Second effort, Anthony Davis. What an effort. Out of bounds at the three yard line. He went out at the three as he tried to shoulder in past the flag. What a day for a sophomore running back. You know, Lindsay scored three touchdowns in the first quarter. And I don't remember anybody ever, possibly in Notre Dame's history, throwing, scoring three touchdowns in one quarter against the Irish. Let's take a look at that. Watch this second effort. Far right, he's got some people out in front of him. Now look at that move. He got away from Sullivan, and now he turns it on. O'Malley makes a grasp at him. Watch. He hits here. Now does his knee hit? Yes, it did. His knee hit about the one and a half. They got it marked at the four. So it is first down and goal to go now. First and goal to go for Southern Cal. You wouldn't give it to Davis, would you? Yes, he did, and he's going to head for that flag. Cuts back, touchdown, Southern Cal. Davis has scored his fourth touchdown of the day. Oh, he's happy. And number 77, I think he, he's big enough to pick him up. That's All-American Pete Adams. There's a replay. Anthony Davis for the fourth touchdown of the afternoon for the fine sophomore running back. Boy, he cuts inside and he goes for the goal line. Mahalik and Sleezus cannot stop him. Now watch this. Davis has carried 15 times for 62 yards today and in addition had a 97-yard kickoff return. He scored four touchdowns, a conversion attempt coming now. And he's caught uh, three passes for 54. And they're going to go for two here. They're going to go for two. Southern Cal will attempt a two-point conversion. Same play. Davis might throw it. And this time he is cut off at the pass and he's out of bounds at the one and the conversion is voided. So the two-point attempt goes awry. And the score is Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 10. Now we move to further action. At the Los Angeles Coliseum, Notre Dame has the ball. It's at the two-yard line of SC. Fourth down, one yard to go for the first down, two to go for the touchdown. They've always given it to Andy Huff in these situations. He has been the bread-and-butter football player down close to the goal line. That's Best behind Huff in that eye formation. Fumble. And a fumble by Best off the tailback. Southern Cal recovers at the one-yard line. Well, I say, and Andy Huff has scored 10 touchdowns this year. He's been the bread and butter. Instead, Era and Tom Clements decide to go with freshman halfback Art Best. He fumbled the football, and George Follett came up with it. Here it is on the replay. Follett's defensive tackle, number 70. He will come into view. There's Best. He fumbled the handoff, another bad handoff, and he would have walked in for the touchdown if he had a hold of it. A big scramble now. Now we move to further action. Southern Cal is leading by a score of 25 to 10. John McKay, the highly successful head coach of the Trojans. McKay is one of the college head coaches who has not succumbed to the wishbone fever that has swept the country. He stayed with the basic attack that he has used for a good many years. Ray. And this one is intercepted at the 47 yard line by Mike Townsend. Mike Townsend with his ninth interception of this season. And he's a good one. Great jumping ability. Fine pass protection again. Looks as if uh, Mike Ray might be changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's got fine pass protection. Trying to go down the sideline. He's got two men in one zone here. Ten for Swan. What an interception. Mike Townsend. With Notre Dame still in possession of the football, we move to further action. Seven minutes, 23 seconds left to play in the third quarter. 
Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 10. The Irish with the ball first and 10 at the 29-yard line of Southern Cal. Andy Huff, 20-yard line to the 15-yard line. Andy Huff for another Notre Dame first down. Well, it's just as good, actually, as we've seen Notre Dame offense in quite a few weeks. They really moved the football on the ground and in the air. Let's take another look at it. Andy Huff, that's freshman Art Best, just trying to get a piece. Good block by John Dampier there. Open up a big hole. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Six minutes, eight seconds left to play in the third quarter. Follett made the stop. Here comes Craney back onto the field now. Quayle comes off for Notre Dame. You may recall 1966 in this series. It was after Notre Dame and Michigan State had played to a famed 10 10 tie. Notre Dame came to Southern Cal and defeated the Trojans by a score of 51 to nothing. It was the last time Notre Dame has defeated Southern Cal. They played to a tie in 1969. Dominic's open. Dominic, touchdown, Notre Dame. Clements fake to Huff. Had Dimonick sprung out at the corner and he got in for the TD. Beautiful faking that time. Here it is again. Watch number two, Tom Clements. Good fake to the fullback. That's Dimonick out in the left flat and he's wide open. Puts it right on the button, running to his left. Touchdown. Already puts it down. Thomas boots it up and it's good. There's a break in the action here at Los Angeles Coliseum with the score. Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 17. Now we move to further action. Third down and eight yards to go for SC. Big play here. They have the ball at their own 22. Ray. Now reverses his field. Looks to throw long, but doesn't. Pumps again. Still scrambling around, and Ray throws it way up the middle, and it is intercepted at the 45. Return to the 44-yard line. Townsend. Townsend got it. He has set a new Notre Dame record of 10 interceptions in a season. His second of the day. Notre Dame first and 10. The ball is spotted at the 42-yard line of Southern Cal. Oh, let's take a look. This must have taken at least 30 seconds before he gets the football off. Mike Ray, now he scrambles back to the right. Let's take, no, he's not open. I think I'll run to the right. Not yet. Again, he still gets to the sidelines. He's going about 65 yards now running. And he puts it up for grabs in a crowd, and there he is. Great jumping ability, Mike Townsend. We move to further action in the same series of plays. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. This is Andy Huff. He got just inside the 10 and was pushed back. And, of course, the magic of Notre Dame prevails, uh, Lindsay. Is, uh, you would almost think there's almost as many fans here rooting for Notre Dame as there is SC. Quite a few Notre Dame Irish football fans in this Coliseum. It always has been. One minute, 32 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Second down and nine at the 10-yard line. He's going to throw Limits. that little pass again. He's open. Touch what a catch! Touchdown to Craney. Craney what? got it for the touchdown. Oh, I'm telling you, he has been the star of this series. What a catch for the touchdown. Mike Craney. The score is 25 to 23. Now do you go for two? Do you oh, go what? for two or do you go for one? Plenty of time still remaining. Uh, you got to go for 119 two. in the third quarter. A field goal could still win it. If you're looking at it that way, Lindsay, I would imagine they're going to go for two. We'll find out very shortly. Clements is 12 for 17 forward passing today. It's 25 for Southern Cal, 23 for Notre Dame. Creaney had caught one touchdown pass. This Fighting season. Irish are going to go for two. Clements has the ball. And it's incomplete. Townsend, the intended receiver. Townsend was hit immediately. Got there at the same time the ball did, so it is an incomplete conversion attempt. And the score is Southern Cal 25, Notre Dame 23. Having kicked off out of bounds the first time, Cliff Brown is kicking off from the 35-yard line now, and Anthony Davis is center deep for Southern Cal. 
Puts it up. Davis is retreating, and he is at the three-yard line. To the five, to the 10, 15, 20. Anthony Davis out to the 30, 35, 40. He's across the 50. Anthony Davis still Unbelievable. 97 yards for the second time today. Anthony Davis has run it back. It's officially 96. Look at the whole SC team is going after Davis. The whole 50-man squad is on top of Anthony Davis. Five touchdowns. Lindsey, I'm excited. I got to say this is one of the greatest performances, not only in college football, but in all the football I've ever seen. That's unbelievable. Here it is again. Watch the block. He just streaks by everybody. And now he's got two men to beat. He looks like he's got an angle. He looks like he's dead at the 40. He gets by him, and then it's Katie Bar the door. Turn it on. Anthony Davis, his second 97-yard return for a touchdown. Five touchdowns scored today by the sophomore. He's got two more years of this, you know. So quickly, the Trojans are back out in front by a score of 31 to 23 with a conversion attempt coming here. Ray will attempt with Hayden holding for him. And it's good for the score. It's Southern Cal 32 and Notre Dame 23. Now we move to further action. That's Townsend split to the left side, number 80. Best in motion. Clements has the ball up the middle and it's intercepted at the 45 and returned to the 26 yard line. And you know, uh, Lindsay, when you're having a day like this, now the offense is coming on. Going through Mr. Davis's mind is, you know, he, he knows he's having an absolutely super day. The adrenaline is flowing. This guy cannot do anything wrong. He wants to run the football right now. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Manfred Moore is the fullback in. This is Ray. Ray 25 to the 20. And Ray, putting on a move or two, goes to the 16-yard line. And he's hurt. Berserker and O'Malley. Ray is down. Look at a real fine backup quarterback also, Lindsey. Pat Hayden, thrown for seven touchdowns. He's moving his legs, I think. By the way, on the last carry, Davis became the fifth Trojan to surpass 1,000 yards in a season. He now has 1,001. John McKay. Face mask penalty, I think, coming up against Notre Dame. From there, it'll be half the distance. And it'll move the ball to the eight-yard line. And that could be a very big loss for SC headed for the Rose Bowl. And it's it. Face mask penalty. And actually, an automatic first down. Ray's all right. He's going to walk off. Now, coming in will be Pat Hayden. And Hayden's a real fine thrower. He's 33 out of 70. Good for 400. 53 yards, but he's thrown for seven touchdown passes. Four seconds on the clock in the third quarter. First and goal at the eight-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter here at the Los Angeles Coliseum with the score. Southern Cal 32, Notre Dame 23. As we start the final quarter, Southern Cal has the ball first down goal to go at the eight-yard line of Notre Dame. Pat Hayden's the quarterback. Anthony Davis is the tailback, and here's the pitch to Anthony Davis. He got in. Touchdown! Number six for Anthony Davis for the day. Well, I tell you, he wanted it. He got hit at the one, second effort. Eight-yard touchdown run. Play is something else. Holy mackerel. Well, we've seen some good backs all year long, Lindsay, but this is unquestionably the finest one we've seen. Anthony Davis. Now watch him. He sees a little daylight, and he says, I'll see you later. I'm going into the end zone. And he does. Right here, he gets hit. Now he's not in. Now watch him. His feet come back. He balances good, and he goes in. So now we'll have a conversion attempt coming here. Ray will attempt with Hayden holding, and Ray back in. Boots it, and it's good. The score is Southern Cal 39, Notre Dame 23. Now we move to further action. Second and 13 at the 21.
That's DeWine in motion. Clements. Another intercepted at the 35-yard line. Parker, Artemis Parker. And he got in for the touchdown. Artemis Parker from Sacramento took it in for the touchdown. Oh, this. But a penalty marker is down. Offside. Against Southern Cal. Nullifies the interception. Nullifies the touchdown. Nullifies the touchdown. Will make it second down and eight up at the 26 yard line. That was a 39 yard return, but it has been nullified by the offside call against Southern Cal. Now we move to further action. Six minutes, 52 seconds left to play in the game. First and 10 for SC at the Notre Dame 45 yard line. SC leading 39 to 23. There's a pitch to Davis. Look at those moves. He moves all over when he runs down to the 32 yard line. That's a pickup of about 12. It gives him 22 carries good for 98 yards. Let's take another look and he has a little help on this one. This is a, actually a sweep. There's the guards out in front. That's Cunningham, a fine blocking fullback, Sam Cunningham, and he just cuts right inside Cunningham's block. Rudney gets a piece and Mazurka. We move to further action in the same series of plays. 4:44 showing on the clock. Now this time it's Manfred Moore behind Cunningham as the two fullbacks stay in the eye formation. And Ray goes to the air to the outside to McKay. McKay. And McKay is at the three yard line. First and goal, Southern Cal. Ricky Barnett saves the touchdown. Let's take another look. He's wide open. Little fake more. Good pass. Look at that block by Adams. He's wide open over there. That sleaze is covering underneath. And Barnett's coming up to make the stop. Help from Mahalik. First down and goal to go for the Trojans now at the three yard line of Notre Dame. And McNeil is the tailback. Pardon. Everybody wants Davis back in there now. But it's McNeil and Cunningham in the eye for this moment. The pitch to McNeil. And he was stopped short, about a foot short. And the crowd wants Davis. The crowd wants Davis. Second down and goal to go. That's not Davis. Davis is along that sideline, number 28 right there. Coach John McKay facing there in the dark slacks and the white shirt. He's got McNeil at the tailback again. Cunningham is his fullback. Cunningham pushed back. Cunningham pushed back. <clears throat> Third down and goal to go. One of the few times you will not see Cunningham dive over on short yardage. O'Malley met him there standing up. Here comes Manfred Moore now, the fullback. And they may dive Cunningham here if McNeil goes out. And McNeil's going out. So characteristically, they would line Cunningham up behind Manfred Moore and dive him from inches away from the goal line. 250 showing on the clock. That's Cunningham behind Manfred Moore. Cunningham touchdown, Southern Cal. He's something, isn't he? Take another look, Sam Cunningham. Oh, he gets the tough yards for him, and this is how he usually does it. Can he jump? Well, I tell you, that's a little dangerous, too, but he's, he never gets hurt. So it is 45 to 23, and a conversion attempt is coming here. Now Ray will attempt it. Aiden is holding for him. It is no good. It is no good. It is wide. Now we move to further action. With 19 seconds left to play, the Irish have the ball on the SC 41 yard line. It is fourth down and nine yards to go. The one in motion, Clements dropping back. Pumps once, was hit just as he started an arm forward. He had started the arm forward, but it's a fourth down play, and the ball will go over on downs. First and 10 at the 41, no fumble. Incomplete pass on fourth down. First and 10 
Southern Cal at the 41. Clock says 15 seconds left to play. Notre Dame has no timeouts remaining. And the hero of this day has been Anthony Davis. What a day he's had. Pat Hayden is in now as the quarterback. Garrison is wide right. Boulware is set in the slot. Hayden runs the option play, keeps it up to the 50. Gets across to the Notre Dame 42 yard line before he's pulled down. Rudnick brought him down. There's the big clock right there. The peristyle end of the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Southern Cal leading 45 to 23. John McKay, head coach of the undefeated untied Trojans. Clock is running four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second, and that's it. And there goes McKay up on the shoulders of the Trojans of Southern Cal who have finished their regular season undefeated untied a final score was southern cal 45 notre dame 23.